Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for April 24th, 2021. So let's see what we have going on for today. We have a lot of intense energy that we're coming into and I have the weekly that will be coming out. Please make sure that you check that out as well. All right, so we have Healthy Lifestyle, Archangel Raphael, eat a healthful diet, get adequate sleep and exercise regularly for optimal health. So what the heck are we talking about? It's not just surface level like this card is saying. I want to say this is, you know, yeah, your physicality, the vessel that you're in, this needs to be cared for, okay? But this is also about doing all of these things to be healthy, not just for wellness and your quality of life, but to help you be an open portal for understanding, right? For messages, for understanding what's coming through to you from your guides, angels, light beings, and what you're supposed to understand right now. We're in a, I, you know, putting it in a human way, a very critical time as far as where this planet is concerned and as far as what we all came here to do. So if we're not treating our bodies well, this, they're even saying now, this can contribute into a clunking, <laughs> a clunking kind of energy where you kind of fall down in. This could be falling into depression, having anxiety. Again, check with an expert if you are experiencing that. Um, but this can also really start opening you up for energies that you don't want to be a host for. Be careful, all right? You can have a lot of uh, you know, parasites, parasitic kind of energy coming through. It could be coming through somebody who's in the physical or it could be coming from the non-physical. And uh, I think it's just, I'm feeling this out here because I feel a lot of you out there, I think I said this message in, an, uh, what was it, April 20th, was it just yesterday? <laughs> I don't remember. But, uh, you know, there's this message here of don't assume that you're going to be sick. You feel me? Some of you are really afraid about your health and health issues. Don't assume that that's going to be your story forever. There's a need to learn to self-heal. Again, don't ignore your doctors. Don't ignore your therapist if that's what you need to help you get through this third dimensional ego consciousness reality. But on a soul level, in a spiritual way, if you incarnated to learn the lesson of what it is to get through a certain illness, then so be it. Uh, I was just thinking this morning how, you know, so many, you know, big authors and big spiritual teachers out there crossed over around the same time within the same couple of years. And how interesting. And some of them had diseases and cancer and things like that. And I know people would say, well, if they were truly spiritual, they would have automatically been healthy. You know, I was saying before, don't assume you're going to get sick. <laughs> don't assume that. But if you are having that experience, you know, in, in the cases of these spiritual authors, who knows? Maybe on their soul contract, it was to experience what it was. To have, to have to face that and the appreciation for life. And they had completed out, you know, it was their exit strategy. Let's put it that way. They had completed out their mission and it was time to go. Now, as I say this, I don't want anybody out there getting scared or anything like that. But I, I'm just offering that as an example to have this deeper understanding of why we might have health scares. And it's a little overly judgmental and um, even simplistic for people to just assume that spirituality, um, you know, if you're spiritual, then nothing ever happens to you. That's the exact opposite of what being spiritual is. Being spiritual is being on that mission and functioning through this vessel that we have to take care of and going through the human experience. That's the spiritual mission. Yes. So take care of yourselves, make it a priority, not just today, but always. All right. So we're going to leave it there, guys. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.